All right, it's a quick little uh, in progress here, doing some work here on the layout. I spent most of yesterday actually uh, getting some cars with detectable wheel sets added and doing the right KD couplers and, and whatnot. So that was mostly yesterday. Today, working on some details here for Wallace. That's a, a derail I'm going to add. So it's not done yet. I just had to. Really fun. You actually have to get in there and uh, this is going to focus. You see it's actually hinged. So it actually will flip out of the way. And then I had to kind of uh, gouge the ties out a little bit because it wasn't quite sitting. Don't know if that'll show. There. It might not focus for me. Nah, I don't think it will. Ah, sorry about that. But it wasn't sitting on the rail. Ah, that's not bad. So you can see I brought it down. So it does actually sit on the rail. And obviously the, the ground throw there is just sitting there for the moment. And then back here, I might use one of those NJ International. What are these? P-H-O-L. Low design switch stands from NJ International. I kind of like the way they, they look. Got a details west. More like a mainline machine there coming off the branch for that. This one here will probably get some type of manual throw, but with an interlock. That, uh, you know, that's why we have that. And I'd like to get the other switch machines, four more out for the, for the crossovers there. And this is interesting. So it actually does flip up out of the way. So I'm going to do some work, get it painted up. And see what I want to do, but just trying to get some more detail there added into into Wallace Junction. So, all right, let's keep working. All right, doing the, had a little idea here, and one thing I wanted to do. This model is seen coming off the branch line, where there used to be a signal. Now it's a dwarf, but back in the day when there was more traffic and whatnot, you know they would have had a little more um, of a signal there. So what I did was had an old Tomar signal that uh, I decided to sacrifice. It actually had been sacrificed before, but made it look like it was kind of ripped out, and you can see the signal head that's there on the ground, and one's missing. They took some of the uh, ladder off so kids wouldn't climb up it. So I took this and kind of weathered it up a little bit, added a couple other details I'm going to put out there. An old signal head on the ground, piece of ladder, an old telephone box, no, no longer used, a little battery box in this here. And don't take any political affiliation from this, it's just in this area of Pennsylvania. Trump was definitely the sentiment, and uh, I'm not making a, a stay either way. I, I served 28 years in the military for people to have their right to vote for whomever they choose. It's not my choice, but uh, that does seem to be a sentiment. So what I did was I modeled the uh, this beat up old relay case took a little piece of hose and actually glued it into the... I might not focus on it. Camcorder struggles a bit. Super glued it in there. Looked like, you know, the old uh, cable coming out of it there. So this is going to be some pieces I'm going to try to put for a little detail scene. So if we get that done, we'll see how it looks over on the layout. There's some of the other items being worked as well. Derail. A couple of little hand throws, another switch machine, so this thing's being worked. Some more battery boxes here to get ready to detail some stuff. Alright, more to come if I get this on the layout. Yay, that was easy. So here's the scene over here on the layout. Now this is just kind of placed in there right now. And then what I'll do is I'll come back in and going to kind of put a whole bunch of underbrush along this embankment. Again, these pieces are just laying here. But, you know, for example, bring some type of scrubby embankment type stuff even you know have it grow like right around the stuff i'm not exactly sure what i want to do yet but something like that just because this has been disused for years and years but that's the old abandoned signal and then there's the new dwarf that replaced it at some point in time and the the hand throw for the so, so there we go and i'm still working on getting the derail ready and that switch machine is going to have the interlock and whatnot. So, okay, here we go. Okay, here's a quick in progress. 
Get a little lower angle there. I kind of decided to work on this whole embankment. Wasn't planning to, but did. So starting from here. And I saw that at the top there, figuring, you know, up in here, where there'll probably be a couple trailers, houses, garages, something like that. And there'll probably be more of a tree line as well. But I did add the the signal and the boxes and the bushes around it. Had an old telephone pole with a transformer in my workshop in my you know kind of in a junk box from the last layout so I put that in there. I'm not sure they would actually leave the transformer on the pole but eh whatever. So that's there. Then there's another old pole. It's starting to lean a little bit but uh, I've seen that on the real railroads so that's it. A little bit in progress. I'm going to go back and maybe work on a couple of trees to, uh, I mean, I'm talking, uh, where'd they go? Well, those are two poplar trees. I was thinking maybe putting the poplars up in here, like, a, you know, the guy here put trees along the road. We'll see. And I have some other ones that I might try. Where are they? Here they are. Those there. They're the Pro Elite from JTT. Pretty nice trees. Just might want to Kind of subdue the the, the the trunks a little bit, but and I know I was going to make trees, but this way at least lets me get some stuff in. And I don't think those trees look all that bad. So that's uh, just a real quick in progress. Oh, I had like a little bit of a I don't know. It just kind of looked like a natural path. Most of those uh, scrap pieces of of uh, horsetail foliage and fake fur and whatnot, they're all in there. It's all been blended in, and you know here's all the stuff that I used. Various items to make it look a little bit more realistic. Like I said I'm not done yet, so I want to keep doing some work. Get the switch machines in, get the ground throws in, get the derail in. Then at least this little corner here will look look man, not too bad. Okay. More to come as we continue working here. Okay, quick in progress. Got everything painted up. And starting to get things secured on here, and a lot of this is just kind of placed right now just to kind of see what I want to put where. There's a relay cabinet, little battery box. It's got the switch machine and the interlock and a little, I don't know, some kind of ground box. The derail is in with its ground throw. We're going to add a little wire. And that's the throw rod. That that should be okay to put that in there. Uh, I got some of the other switch machines just kind of sitting there for now. I got some sitting there drying up with some hobby tack. Some more relay cabinets. This is kind of the main relay cabinet that, at least on the most of the CSX interlockings I've seen, seems to be kind of in the middle of the uh, interlocking. Although I probably didn't leave enough room. <laughs> Again, for the prototype. It's a lot bigger than you think, and I didn't quite model it perfectly here. And, then, and another battery box and that switch machine. And I'm going to put a, a ground throw way up there on that other branch line switch. So, let that stuff dry up. Here, get the uh, tacky glue to get clear so we can put those on. I'm going to check some prototype, prototype photos to make sure I have... I don't know that matters which side the little... Relay box comes off, but I just want to look uh, and, and verify that. And then we'll get the stuff put on and see how it looks when I say it's uh, at least somewhat finished. Okay, more to come. All right, and back. I mean, I guess I'm calling this scene somewhat, well, nothing's really finished, right? But uh, what I figured I'd do is just kind of stop here. Maybe go ahead and post this. I know folks don't tend to like really long videos, so to keep this uh, a little bit shorter just going to show a little bit what I did here got it scenic up here added some more details in among the, the bottom there of the embankment some old ties there's some old tie plates and then there's the old signal no longer in use the old relay box and the old telephone line coming in some more Embankment stuff, and there's a some old rails and a piece of pipe. And I did get the switch machines and some other fun items added. 
Well, there's uh, two rail fans on the bridge. Hope when a train comes by. I think one might. There's another pole I added up there again, no longer used. And then I did get the other oh, oops, whoop. So I got that in. It's not quite right, I know, but it's okay. And then the D rails in. I think it looks okay. It actually does operate. I can flip it back up to actually bring a car. And that's one of the things when you start to lay out and you get more and more detailed with stuff, you gotta be careful because you still want to operate. And sometimes things like that, if you can't flip out of the way, well you can't bring cars into siding, but it should be okay. And then got some more of the switch handles there. And some more relay boxes, battery boxes. I'm not saying it's 100 percent right. I'm just gonna go on what I think looks okay. It's kind of the main box. I don't have a whole lot of room there, but the main box in the center of the interlocking. And then down on this end I added the other switch machine. So that's really pretty much all I did. I don't know if we can get a sky view here of what it kind of looks like. And I know, yes, I do need to weather the track. I'm well aware of that. It's not quite done yet. Here's kind of a drone view coming across. A little shaky. <laughs> and there we go. And back to the bridge. I'm not saying all these trees are going to stay there. I had some that were over in the work workbench area. The ones that are there with the fall foliage. I do like that. I do want to have a couple that are turning. I'm not sure I'm going to keep all four of those though. They're there in the back. And then I added some more over on that side as well. Just for fun. Again, I'm not sure I'm going to keep them. But just to get them. Hey, I'd rather have them out here than just collecting dust on the workbench. So, alright, so that's that. That's this area. This was really enjoyable. About two days worth of work. But man, I love this kind of stuff. I could do this kind of stuff all day. And you gotta kinda step back every now and then. You can see I added some of the you know the tufts and gray. You can do this forever. I mean literally forever. You could sit here and play with this and muck around with it. But uh, at some point you gotta call it and say, hey, let's go do what the Mall of Railroad's meant to do, and that's run trains, so. Let's see if maybe we can get a train to come by. Just for fun. Woo! Alright. I'm going to get this posted. Maybe by Thanksgiving. Kind of a midweek update. Just some stuff we did. And then we will uh, keep working. But again, I'm not sure much more I'm going to do. But uh, I don't, I'm not sure I'll get the road crossing. But anyway, I just wanted to get this done. Do something I actually enjoy. It was very relaxing to be able to come home and work on this. Really had a good, had a good time with it. So, okay. Let's see, I heard a scanner chirp. I think there might be a train coming.